Welcome back to Car Chat TV. I'm Oliver. Have you ever thought, mm, I fancy a bit of a GT Tourer car? I like BMW 8 Series. Hey, I might even like Aston Martin. Maybe you don't want to go with the German brands or the obvious. Maybe you want to be a little bit different, a little bit indie and alternative. I've got the car for you. Meet the Lexus LC500. Now, don't get too excited. This isn't the V8. The V8 is the faster of the two cars, more horsepower, but this is the V6 hybrid, okay, environmental version. So you feel good about doing something for the, who cares, right? So in this video, I'm gonna, we're gonna have a little bit of a walk around, look at the design, but the thing that you really wanna know is, come a little bit closer. Shh, I'm gonna tell you five hidden secrets that no one knows about the Lexus LC500. So we're gonna start at the front of the car straight away. We've gotta talk about the grille. This waterfall spindle design just pours down the front of the car. It's very tight knit at the top and then gaping holes at the bottom so that more air can shush straight into the car. It sits low, so low and wide, the horn just stick out. It reminds me of like a, like a trainer or a jumbo jet. We've got to talk about these headlights. They're absolutely amazing. Triple projector LED headlamps. And look here, these are like the thinnest LEDs you will ever see on a car incorporated in as it goes into the fender there. Absolutely love that. Look at these fat 21 inches there. Calipers there with the Lexus. I love that. Black calipers looks good. This is the yellow. This is the hybrid we spoke about. We're going to come around the back. Though. Look at the surface area on this sucker. It's massive. It's so wide. And look, that appearance of a floating roof. We've seen that before, haven't we? In Land Rover models. Here we've got it. They filled in the pillar here with a black gloss look. It looks, oh, it looks amazing. This one's actually got the performance pack on it as well. So I don't know if you can get this in. It's got carbon fiber roof saves on the weight and also with the performance pack you get this little spoiler now at the moment it's staying out because i've got a little trick how to make it stay out because normally it comes out automatically over a certain miles per hour then it goes back in right oh my gosh how could we forget these lights i'm going to talk a little bit more about those in the secrets because these lights are insane the only thing is i probably get them wrapped because the top bit looks a little bit cheap uh, here with the chrome and again with the chrome on the front, it'd be nice to see if that had a, like a black wrapper on as well. Personal preference, but there you go. Oh my gosh, that's been the walk around. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. It's time to move on to the secrets. Shh. First secret, I think it's a really good one. This, because it's got the sport package on it, has got a wing. However small that is, it still looks cool and people like wings. But with the wings, they can be autonomous. They come out over a certain miles per hour and then they go in automatically. Now with my secret, I'm gonna teach you how to keep the wing out all the time. It changes the look of the car and you've paid for it, you wanna see it pop out and stay out. So we're gonna go down here first. So we're gonna press this button, make sure that's on green. Can we see that close up? And then when that's on green, the wing is out. You're gonna go into your vehicle settings over here by clicking this button, the thing moves over, the dial goes, it's really cool. And then move down to vehicle settings, click okay. Now this is where it gets a little bit interesting. The rear wing says on at the moment, and that means the autonomy is on. Now we have just made the wing stay out by itself. So we wanna make sure the rear wing says off. So we're gonna click okay, make sure the rear wing says off. Now you can go out and check the wing, which we've done, and it will stay out there. Because what you're doing is you're telling that rear wing off, do not do anything to pull it out or drop it away. So literally, we've manually made that wing stick out. You're welcome. Another secret, a lot of people don't know about this, but if you are into your Japanese weaponry, you might hear of a little weapon called the Katana. That's right. Now, Lexus wanted it to incorporate a little secret feature here, right here with this strip. This strip references also the color with the chrome look, but the shape of a Katana Japanese sword. Check that out. Another secret, head over to your glove box. I like the way Lexus have put a button on top of the glove box. Let me show you here, little button here. Press that, it drops down. I like that, good ergonomic design there, placing the button at the top. Then we go in very close and you've got this thing called a trunk opener. 
This is very handy. If I push that button so it comes out, there we go, we can hear the click. Not even the button on the boot will open the boot, not even on the key fob will open the boot at all. Nothing will open the boot. So if you've got someone trying to force you to have a look at the contents in your boot, nothing will work. And if they don't know about that button, you're gonna get away with it, depending on what you do for work. I'm not judging you or anything, I'm just telling you about this feature. I've got to talk about the tail lights. These could be one of my favorite tail light designs ever on a car. 80 LEDs in each tail light. Now they use an infinity mirrorless system. So what that means is a one way mirror is strategically placed within the tail light and you get this effect. Now Lexus, what they wanted to do is imitate that of an afterburner on a jet. And you can just see the hues here. I just think that looks extraordinary. A cool safety feature that you might not be aware of is this, when we pop the bonnet, we notice a few things. If you are to run anyone over, I'm not judging you, I'm not talking about people who might be a big animal or something or whatever, you've got these four hydraulic levers that pump up here, here, in the hinges over there, and the hinges over here, three inches it puts the bonnet up. And what that does, it creates a buffer to impact whatever is hitting your car. Just a little safety feature there. So those have been the secrets of the LC500. If you're still with me and you're sticking around, good. Don't forget to throw us a sub and like, because guess what I'm doing next? I'm gonna drive this thing. Let's go. So I'm inside the Lexus LC500H, the H being hybrid. I've got a glorious visual monitor here that I can see the battery, the electric motor, and the engine when what is doing what. I love that. It's telling me this is a hybrid that I'm going to be saving my MPG. How many MPG can I get, Lexus? They tell me I can get 44.1 miles to the gallon, which is in a you know sports car slash GT Tourer. That's not too bad, is it, considering the V8 version uh, drinks a lot of fuel and you're probably getting around 22 mpg 22 25 so i've just got a few bumps here oh, i am sitting rather low i'm so low the bonnet feels vast very long i've seen a little bit of the bonnet which is good i like to see that to gauge how far i am and my positioning i've got a heads up display here interior you cannot fault the interior there's alcantara everywhere roof lined alcantara the seats are plush and comfortable and the bolster uh, the bolsters are really good but i'm i'm so impressed with the stitching as well this is the type of stuff you get in high-end luxury cars you know and lexus i think you've done such a good job and the infotainment is sitting back and flush i like how it sits back into the dash very cool with the leather top with another little bit of cool stitching now the touchpad a lot of people slate the touchpad but I've been using the touchpad and it's not too bad, all right? When you get used to it, it looks quite funny actually, like a little red light when a little cat light is chasing the red light. So when you use that, it's, it's fine. There are a number of settings I think we just need to get onto because you've got a little weird knob right here. And when I turn this, this is a bit annoying actually, it's a bit of a gripe. I'd like to have that on the wheel. With German brand cars, when you've got the drive modes, you can press them on the wheel. The Audi RS there, the BMW has a little M buttons uh, that store memory and whatnot. Here I've got a little spindly turning knob. So I've got down for eco, I've got up for normal and custom, and I've got sport and sport plus. So we're gonna go to sport plus and we're gonna give it some beans. I've got some lovely paddles that are visible above the wheel and below the wheel. And already, oh my gosh, already I feel. Let's kick that down. Here we go. Whoa, there we go. That sounds good. Woo! Oh my gosh, that was quick. That was quick. I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but that was quick and it sounded. Did you hear that? Did you hear the whoop? I love that sound. I love that. And this is a hybrid. But you've got to remember, this isn't an out and out performance car. This is going to excel at chilling. So I'm going to put it back into comfort mode and just kind of sit back and chill because although you have got that performance there, 0 to 62, I believe in 4.7 seconds, or it might be a couple of milliseconds off that, uh, the V8 is probably gonna be, well, it's gonna be quicker and more horsepower. Now that is about at Centurion Automotive as well. It's bright red called the infrared. So it'll be good to try that out one day. It's not there today, so we've got the V6, which is still good. Now, suspension, cruising along on the A-Road, I can't feel any bumps. 
This is super comfortable. I'm back in my chair. I'm literally grabbing the wheel. And the wheel feels great, by the way. It feels really good, chunky in parts and places. And the digital dash, really crisp and clear. All the font sizes are all good and sleek. So the Lexus LC500, the V8, and this, the hybrid, are the first Lexuses to use the G. AL platform, which is global architecture luxury. And this is a multi-material platform. It uses carbon fiber, it uses high strength steel and aluminum to give that front to rear balance and keep the weight and the mass down low. Right, I've got the car on some B-roads. I've got everything in Sport Plus mode. I want to feel the suspension. It's got stiffer, the steering's got stiffer. I can see orange, I can see white, I can see red, and this is Oh my gosh, this has got some grunt and the brakes. I'm on the brakes, we're meeting someone. There we go. Oh my gosh, back on the power, foot to the floor, picks up again. It sounds, it sounds insane. Can't only imagine what the V8 sounds like. I bet that sounds insane, but we're in the V6 hybrid and the steering. Wow, so positive, so responsive there. Turns, point, stick and shoot, stick and shoot, Oliver. I love it. Oh, a little bit of speed come out there as well. Bit of protein, it's all good for you. Right, we're coming around this corner. Long sweeping right. It's keeping it, it's good. It's holding those revs there. I love this. I love this. This feels, oh my gosh, that power is insane. Onto the brakes. Brakes are progressive. As I'm jabbing, it doesn't slow down like the quickest. It's not grabby. It's very progressive. So you've got to get on the brakes early. All right. It doesn't, it's not. A shot, but you, again, you know, this is this is more of a GT like cruiser car. You've got this performance here, of course, it's great. And remember, this is the hybrid, so you're trying to save a little bit of fuel here. Um, if you want to go all out, you're probably going to get the V8. It's going to sound better. Um, and actually, I would like to. I hope soon I'll be able to have a go in the V8. But at the moment for today, we're, just, we're checking out the hybrid. That was fun. I'm not going. Can we do that again? Sure. Yeah. We're gonna do that again, that Sport Plus mode is something else. Just the noise, the visual display, really like how just centralized the digital display is uh, on the instrument cluster there. Love that, just a single dial with the revs, six and a half thousands just over, and just the colors and the emotions you go through. Immediately, you kind of just form a, an emotional connection with the car, I loved it. Steering was great, the paddles are good as well. I love these paddles that they go underneath I may have said this earlier, I might be repeating myself, but I love the way they go underneath the steering wheel. Just makes them a bit more ever present. And I love that. So far, I am enjoying the LC500H. Lexus say that this hybrid can do 0 to 62 in 4.7 seconds. I'm gonna give it a launch. I've got it in Sport Plus, foot to the floor, traction control off. Let's see what you got. Launch! Whoa! Oh my gosh, there it is! Whoa! Bit of fishtail out the back! Whoa! And that's it! Oh my god, that was quick! That felt really quick! And I felt the back just giving it a little bit of a fishtail out the back! Super happy, really pumped. <sighs> Very exciting. Well, what an absolute pleasure this V6 hybrid Lexus. LC500H has been to drive. We've done a couple of launches in it, which was nuts. I felt the, the back wiggle out. It, it's been really good fun, and it's been so well planted on the road, and it drives so well. And the suspension, I've been really uh, impressed with the suspension, especially in comfort mode, just how, how uh, supple and soft it is. Now, we are going back to Centurion Automotive, so I'm gonna give you my final verdict. We said at the beginning, 44.1 MPG, is what Lexus say that this hybrid can do, which is pretty good. I mean, that's that's better than most performance cars and sports cars. You're not gonna get anywhere near that, are you? So you could save uh, on your MPG, but we reset the trip at the beginning of our journey. So at the moment, I'm going over it to it now, and it says 20.8 MPG. It's just gone up, 20.9 MPG. Now that's no 44 miles to the gallon, is it, or 44.1, but it's safe to say we have been having this car for a little bit of pleasure to see the performance side of it, so uh, 
you'd have to see. I mean, you've got that hybrid battery element there, so I'm sure on longer journeys you'll be able to get that MPG value up. But I've enjoyed it. Anyway, back to Centurion Automotive, where this car is actually available to buy, and I'm going to give you my final verdict. So that has been the episode on the Lexus LC500 H Hybrid. This car is insane. I've really enjoyed it. Inside, it's so, it's so plush and luxurious. You can't fault that interior. It's amazing. Big thanks to Centurion Automotive, where this car is right now. It's for sale, so if you want it, get in touch. Link in the description below. But look at the car. I'm not being funny. You don't see many of these on the road. They're super rare. And when people see this, they're like, ah, I call this the neck breaker. They wonder what the hell it is. They're like, is that some sort of Japanese spaceship? Love this car, it's been insane. I need to try the V8, that's my next job. But if you've come with us on our journey, we spoke about those secrets at the start, brilliant. We've taken it out on the road, test drove it, a couple of launches, Shh, that was fun. 4.7 seconds, that's quick. And this, this is no light lady, let me tell you that. But if you like the episode, throw me a like, comment what you think about the car in the comment section below. Get subbed, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh!